hello friends welcome back to my channel and today i'm adding a new video in this omni studio playlist so the today's video is about edit block in omni script so basically edit block in omni script is nothing but is a kind of element which enables users to add edit and delete the salesforce records so i will show you how it basically works so i have already created um, an edit block so let me give you the demo first so i'm just clicking this preview button of the omni script and i have added the edit block i've given the name of this omni script as edit block and if i'm given i'm clicking this preview you can see it, yeah it's showing me a data table and this data is coming from the data raptor all of this id name type this is nothing but the account records it, that's why the data table name means accounts and if i wanted to edit this i have to click this edit and i can change this name i can just put puja or something like that some random name and see so you can see this this acme corporation um, name has been changed from gagan to uh, puja if you want to see this this whether this has been already updated or not so what you can do you can go here and you can just put this account id and it will show you the name which is there in this account um it's taking longer time so yes so account is coming now so you can see that the name he has been updated to acme corporation puja so this update is working right and let's suppose that if i wanted to delete any particular row so if i wanted to delete this let's suppose that right golden summer so first of all let me open this one uh, okay we will delete this one okay acme corporation puja so i'm just deleting this it's asking whether you want to delete it permanently i'm clicking okay so and if i will refresh this so we have deleted this record right if i will refresh this the salesforce must give us an error that this record is not coming up because we have deleted that right and that is coming right so because the record is not available so how this basically edit delete and this new action is also there if you wanted to create a new one so basically we cannot add the id because id is something that we don't create but the salesforce basically create automatically when we basically we we insert a record so i'm now i'm giving some name like say um um krish krish uh, na anand something like that i'm giving just name and let's skip prospect is a type and i'm clicking save so this will add the new account so yeah this one has been added krishna anand project prospect so this has been added into this list means uh, i'm able to add it the existing account i can delete the existing account and i can also add the new account right so these things can be done through edit block okay so in the edit block what you, things you have to do initially you first step is you have to basically first step is you have to basically extract us records so whatever the particular object you want to edit delete or add you have to extract that record okay so first step is that so if you you can see that this is my omni script which i was basically from where i was giving you the demo so initially i have just put this data raptor extract and if i go to this data raptor extract this data raptor extract is simply taking 10 account records and giving in this expected json account is the parent node and inside this i'm fetching a id name and type if i if i go to the preview and click execute i'm just getting the array inside this account and array is of type name and id i'm getting all of this array okay so basically the json structure is account is a parent node and this is the field value so whatever the node is coming from your data raptor extract right so you have to just take care of that okay whatever the data raptor is coming just copy and paste somewhere so i have already just put this in the second tab now you have to create one step inside this step you have to drag and drop edit block this is the edit block you have to just drag and drop okay like this so this this is nothing but this is this is nothing but this is the same edit block okay and i have renamed the uh, edit block let me delete this i actually i have renamed this edit block with the accounts why i have renamed it because the data from the data raptor extract is coming in the parent node of accounts can you see this the so same name i have to give to my edit block so i have given the same name so this is the name of my edit block this is the edit block i'm giving the same name accounts because the parent node 
then under the node where the value is coming is uh, the name of the node is accounts and then what uh, what all the action you want to enable you have to click this i want to enable edit delete new you have to just click this inside this edit block you have to drag and drop so if i go back to my ppt the first step is you have to use data adapter step to uh, get all the records that you wanted to add it or delete or add the new record and the second step is you have to add the input element inside the edit block text input element so basically i wanted to show three uh, fields value under my data table or basically i just wanted to enable only this fields to be added so you have to what you have to do you have to go to build you have to go to you have to put text there in your search bar and then you have to just you know drag and drop like this inside this inside this this is the edit block and inside this you have to add that so similarly i've just put this three times okay and i basically then yeah and i basically changed the name i have provided i have changed the name to id name and type so this name of the element should be same and it should be matched with the node under the node the value is coming can you see this this value is coming under this node so what is the node of the uh, basically uh, the node of the uh, field which is giving you the value you have to put the same node name so this is the node name which is giving the id value this is the node name which is giving the name value this is the type node name which is giving the actual type of accounts value so you have to give the same node name to this input fields that's why i put the same name type and this uh, input field name is name because the same value is coming from the same node value is coming from the data after extract okay you have to do the, these things and the third step is you have to put the remote action so basically this will only show you the values because the values is coming under this nodes so i am just matching the accounts account should be the added block name okay i put the accounts or uh, the values coming under this node id name and type you have to put the same name to this input element name so input element name should be matched with the node of the fields value so this is the node uh, basically i'm putting the name right so this will only show you the value but when you're, you're clicking the edit button right when you're clicking when you you're going to the preview and clicking this edit action right this will only happen so this edit action right this edit action can only happen after clicking save when you put remote action with class default omni script edit block so you have to add the remote action for each of the action you wanted to do if you wanted to edit you have to put one remote action for edit if you want to do delete action you have to put the del um, remote action would delete uh, remote action with the delete action so you can see that i have added three remote action for each of the actions so you have to go to build go to remote action so basically remote action in uh, omni studio we used to call the apex class but since this is out of the box uh, solution you don't have to create any separate apex class you have to just drag and drop this remote action okay and then you have to you have to give the name of this remote action with the same action with the same name which you have given here so delete label i have given as a delete if you go to the edit label i have given the name of the basically action name new means new edit means edit delete means delete. you can rename it as well but make sure whatever the name you are giving you have to give the same name to your remote action so i have given the edit delete and new as per the configuration i have done here so if you go to edit and you if you click remote property i think if you're working in omni studio you must be knowing that you can give the class name and method name here so this class name if i go to my this omni studio document you can see this is an omni studio document and it's mentioned that if you wanted to do new action you have to use this class name okay if you are doing edit action you have to use this class name if you're doing delete action you have to do this class name so so this class name is same but the action is different this action name is coming from the label of the action under the edit block edit block element name which is new so that's why i'm using this class i'm putting this class name here in the remote properties and putting the remote action name 
and I have created three uh, different remote action for each type of different action like delete for I created a delete one and put the delete method where I put the same class and a different method edit for new I put the same class and the method name here all right I think everything is clear so far uh, if if you have any issue you know even after I uploaded this video you can comment down to the video or this is my LinkedIn profile you can find out my LinkedIn profile and even if you wanted to book a one-to-one -one session you can go ahead and book one-to-one -one session it's very cheap not that much expensive and then basically you can book half an hour or one hour of call and then I will definitely help you out now this is all you have to do for the edit blog and second thing uh, if you click this edit blog okay uh, you have to basically go to element inside edit block as well okay so basically this is showing that whatever the element is there you want which element you want to render it if i don't want to render this id i can just uncheck this and go to preview and the id will remove it so you can see that id is not there in this table right so yeah id is not there because i unchecked what element i wanted to show if i want to show the id you can i can check it again second thing is you have to map the id with the object as well so basically edit blog as of now the edit blog is not able to identify which object i am referring to because this account is nothing but i'm, I'm matching this account with the json which is coming from the data raptor right but you have to tell you that i wanted to update or edit this object so these values are belongs to this object right and this node id this node is coming from data raptor but how salesforce will identify like this is actual which field i'm referring to right but i'm i have to do this configuration here under the edit block and you have to go to s, s object mapping so i'm saying that i wanted to basically map all of this field with the account object and id is belongs to this id field and name is belongs to this name field and type is go because in order to reduce the confusion i have given the same name of the name same name of this input element with the same name of the field which is actually there in the salesforce but this could be like account id and in salesforce this is just id right so you have to map the account id with id so you have to make sure that so this is it it's very simple uh next video i'm going to basically extend this edit element with the lwc because someone has requested me on youtube so that's the thing so this is it you can basically you want to delete it, you can delete it and when i'm hitting delete button basically this edit block um, you know the remote action is getting fire so every time i'm clicking delete so this this delete action is getting fire and i'm clicking edit edit action is getting fire and this is nothing but the out of the box remote class that's it if you have any queries to comment on the youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe my channel i'm really working hard to upload these videos thank you